Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today is going to be a very short video in which I'm going to explain the difference between different phylogenic trees. And you see here three phylogenic trees which show relationship between these species. So same species but three different phylogenic trees. So what do axes of a different phylogenic trees represent here? For example, in cladogram, nothing on the y-axis and nothing on the x-axis. From cladogram, we only can see the relationship between different species. For example, we can say that species A and B are more closely related, for example, than species C and B. So we only can see here relationship and how different species relate to each other. Now let's compare with ultrametric tree. Again, on the y-axis or vertical axis, nothing, but this time on the x-axis, this length of the species branches represent time. So now we not only can say the relationship between species, but also when speciation events happen. For example, between species A and B, speciation even happened pretty recently. Between species C and D, much earlier in time, more closer to the root. So ultrametric tree is more informative than just cladogram. And for example, if we put E, species E here, that means that this species extinct because in ultrametric tree, this H would represent present. Now compare with additive tree and don't think that only species E survived here. Just like in all the rest phylogenic trees, here on the Y axis, basically this axis stands for nothing, but X axis here stand for the amount of change, usually in DNA. So as you see, species E accumulated most changes here. And for example, species A and B, since speciation even accumulated different amount of DNA change. So looking at this tree, we can say relationship between species, just like in cladogram, but also we can say how much DNA change each species accumulated since speciation event. And again, because all the species didn't reach this line, it doesn't mean that they are extinct. So out of all these three, the least informative would be cladogram. And additive tree and ultrametric tree would give us much more information about the species, about time, since speciation event and about amount of change in DNA. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.